everyone, and thanks for coming back to FemLogic AI. Today, I wanted to show you something really cool I've added to ChatGPT4, the paid version, that they've added in for free, which is amazing. And so it's Dolly 3. Now, now Dolly's been around for a little while. Uh, there's been many variations. And, and, and quite frankly, in the beginning, I wasn't too impressed. I've, I've been a mid-journey fan since I discovered it. So um, what we're talking about today is taking text and turning that into images. Uh, so if you want to create your own logo, if you want to create, um, you know, an avatar, uh, this is tools that would allow you to do that. So full disclosure, all of my graphics on my website, as well as the thumbnails you see me produce, they all come from MidJourney. But I might start using ChatGPT since it's included in my $20 a month um, uh, pricing that I've already got out there. So I think that's pretty cool. Whereas I pay an additional 15 to $30 a month for mid journey, depending on what level you want to be at there. So I could do it all in one tool. And I really like that because, um, one of the things that annoys me the most is many, many more tools. So we all have too many tools out there to use. If we could consolidate them and just get one software as a service, let's, let's do that. So today let's get started on learning how to use Dolly three, which is super impressive. All right. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, and like I said, this is in the paid chat GPT-4, so it is not available in the 3.5. So if you go to 3.5, you will not see that. Um, but what you're gonna do with this Dolly 3 is you go to chat GPT-4, and you're gonna come down here and you're gonna have to choose Dolly 3. So uh, Dolly 3 is one of the betas. And like we've discussed before, you these are, you can only use one at a time at the time of this video. So I'm sure they will get to a point where you can interact them, um, you know, multi, you know, that's really where the power is when you can use the internet, Dolly 3, you know, all that good stuff. But we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Every month they come out with something new. So uh, make sure that Dolly 3 is the checked box down at the bottom. And then it's gonna assume that I wanna use Dolly 3 until I tell it not to. So the first thing I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna take text and I'm gonna to try to tell it what I want it to do. So for right now, I'm going to build an artificial intelligence background with a purple theme at a blonde haired, blue eyed female. So I'm gonna to try to get it to create me. I'm gonna say um, this female is an IT expert and let's just see what it's gonna it says for me. So I hit enter. And what are we going to get from Dolly 3? So it is actually going in and taking the text and it is making some assumptions and it's going through and it's saying, okay, what do you want it to look like? So let's see what it gets me in here. So it does take a minute to generate these images. And um, so, but I mean, we're talking 30, 45 seconds. So not an extreme amount of time. And I'm also going to show you what this looks like in mid journey too, because I want you to see Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, that, I don't know if that quite looks like me, but I also didn't give it a picture of me. So I didn't tell it hair length or anything like that. I just said blonde hair and blue eyes. So now from here, I can say, okay, um, I can interact with it. So I'm gonna say, um, using the image on the right, make the hair longer and wavier. Because my hair's curly. And even when I straighten it, like I did today, it wants to be curly. <laughs> All right, um, but I do like what they've got there. That's a nice professional. And so let's see what it does with that. So I've told it that I like the image on the right. Actually, I should have said left, but we'll go with the right and say make it longer and curlier and wavier anyway. Let's see what it says. So it's gonna come back and it's gonna, so you, I can go back and forth on these images and do it. I like how it's actually got an Apple Watch here. That's pretty funny. Um, but if I, you know, oh, there we go. So it did make me a little wavier. So then I can go back up here and I'm going to say using the image on the left. Okay. And I'm going to say image on the left, remove the earbuds. So this is something that um, I yeah, that I feel like Mid Journey really struggles with. So see how it's got earbuds in there. Um, in Mid Journey, when you when it does something like that, it's very hard to get the fine tuned details. I feel like, and maybe it's it's probably a user error if you're really good at Mid Journey. I bet you can do it, but I struggle with like you know when I'm trying to do two or three people, and I'm trying to say like the the you know one man has glasses, the other one has red hair. Um, it'll like want to put glasses on both of them, and I'm like no, just one person has glasses. You know things like that. So um, um, you know, I feel like that this, this particular version of Dolly 3 
has really improved. Uh, Dolly 2 was quite granular and as far as like pixelated. So it looked more like uh, like the old school newspapers. You know, if you remember, if you're old like me and you remember those. <laughs> so, um, all right, but it kept the earbuds. All right, all right, no, that's not what I want. So I'm like, take, I'm gonna say, uh, take away the ear headphones. So maybe it doesn't understand earbuds. So let's see if it takes away the ear headphones. <laughs> Let's see what it says then. So I like the image, but I do want it to be a little less. Now, and the beauty of this is I can use all of these images and you probably see them in my thumbnails from now on because this is how I generate all this stuff as I go through here. Well, no, it's still got the earbuds. So, um, you know, like I do like how it's kind of futuristic looking. That's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, let's see if I can remove the watch. I'm gonna say remove the watches from the image. Let's see, so this is gonna bug me. I'm like, no. <laughs> so looking at those kind of things and those little details, and so it is giving me different variations. Now we're gonna flip over to Mid Journey in just a second if I can see if I can get it to remove the watches, and and I'll show you what Mid Journey. Okay, there you go. So this one did well. So um, I guess it uh, this one it actually removed. This is good. So it removed. The uh, watches, it actually just put them out of sight, which is fine with me, and it removed the earbuds. And so this is a more professional shot. So if I like this, I can just right click, save image as, you know, um, I can save it over here, you know, in whatever I want in my videos here. So I can just do that. Um, I can tell it, you know, it's always helpful with ChatGPT if you provide the feedback and you tell it, yes, this is good, no, this is not. So it learns how you want to be responded to. So when you go in here and, you know, it's, we're good. All right, I like that image. So using that same prompt, I'm gonna go over here to Discord and I'm gonna show you, this is Mid Journey. So Mid Journey is actually two pieces. It is the um, both the Mid Journey piece, which is, um, you know, account you set up and it's a Mid Journey bot as well as a Discord server. So you have to set up a server and I will go through a video of all that stuff. But for now, let me just show you how it works. So um, with Discord, you have to tell it with a, forward slash, I'm going to do an image. So you're giving it a prompt and you can put this in. And now in, in all fairness, this is my first experience with Discord using it through MidJourney. So if you're more familiar with Discord, you may be able to work this a lot better. So let's see what Discord gives me on the exact same prompt. And I'll show you the difference in how they work. And so I do think MidJourney is ahead of what ChatGPT or Dolly 3 is giving us. However, not so much ahead that I might be willing to pay for it. So that's my question now is, do I let go of the mid journey? Do I keep it? Um, I think we're gonna constantly see a back and forth, back and forth as, you know, like all of this AI, you know, generative AI specifically starts to evolve and more pieces come into the play. You know, we're gonna see a back and forth of this company's a little bit ahead, that company's a little bit ahead. So for right now, I'm gonna leave all my stuff. So now I have four images here. So what uh, mid journey does is it gives you four options. And it says, do you want to upscale it, which is the U, upscale one, two, three, or four. And so those are my things over there. Or do I want another version of one, two, three, or four? So let's say I, I really like, you know, I think this uh, number three. So give me another version of number three. So it's going to give me some more options of, I like the way number three looks. Give me some more versions of that. And um, they're going to come down and it does do it a little bit faster here. Uh, so you can say, so I do like how Mid Journey kind of gives you like it's 15% done. It's actually building and you're watching it build. I think that's pretty cool, but that's like a nice to have and not necessarily a must have. <laughs> and the way Mid Journey works too, as you can see, it says fast. I have a an account that allows me so many fast images a month. And um, then I go to the slower version. So it, it dials me back. Uh, so you can upgrade that however you like. So look at that. 160 seconds, we got many images here and that's pretty cool. So again, if you like any of these, I can say, okay, I really like this one. So I really like two, I'm gonna upscale two, which means it's going to make it a higher quality. It's gonna, so it comes up there. And then from there, I can just say, I want it to go to the web or I wanna download it. You know, I can zoom in, upscale it, I can get it stronger and I can play around with these little varieties. But you can see it does give me similar images. And to be honest, when I go back to my, you know, I feel like they are similar images given the prompts, 
and, you know, like some real quality too for what I'm using it. You know, if you're a professional designer, maybe you have a little more of an eye than I do, but I feel like this is a pretty cool tool and um, that's all you need to do. So when you go in here, anytime you open a new prompt, it's going to assume it's because you had chosen Dolly 3 before. You can say like, create a logo for my, you know, pickleball team. I know pickleball is really pickleball team. Um, make it blue and gold and um, include the name Pickleball Champs. All right, so I've named my team. Let's see what it gives me. So you can do things like this. So if you want, you have a name for a company and you want to create a logo, um, I'm sure a graphic designer would do a more precise job. This is a very inexpensive way to play around and do this kind of stuff. So I think it's pretty cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool logos, you know, like you're trying to design t-shirts, you know, like I've spent hours and hours, you know, scanning the internet, trying to come up with logos and cool things for t-shirts. This is a great way to do it. So that is all for now. Okay, so one more thing. I, after I got done making the video, I realized that um, it occurred to me that maybe I can make my thumbnail as well as my description using the chat GPT features. So here's what I did. I went through and I said, okay, using this image to make, use this image to make a YouTube thumbnail with a viral title about Dolly 3. And so it went in and I even spelled Dolly 3 wrong and er, like put the uh, hyphen in the wrong spot. And so it came back and it gave me this. And I was like, eh, that's not exactly what I wanted. So then I went back and I said, make the title bigger and more prominent on the image. And then it gave me this, which I think is pretty good. Um, like, so a title and this is thumbnail. And so it did everything I want it to do there. So I think that's pretty cool. And it even, uh, when I put the dash after the E instead of before the E, it corrected that. So that's awesome. Um, of course, it knows what Dolly 3 is because it is using Dolly 3. <laughs> and so, and then I said, okay, well, maybe you could just write my description and it can do all this stuff for me. And so I said, based on that title, you know, write me a description. So it did. It actually wrote a really good description. So look at that. So I am going to make some adjustments to this because that's like not exactly what I wanted to say, but that's pretty cool and a really good start. And if you're doing any kind of content creation, um, my mind just went, whoa, this is going to save me a ton of time. Anyway, I hope this is uh, useful to you and um, come back and uh, check us out. If you find any other uses, let me know. I would love to hear about them. Thanks. So I hope you liked this Dolly 3 video and it helped you learn a little bit more about how to use text to graphics and images. I think it's really cool. Um, what I really want to be able to do is upload my picture and have it create a very fancy, you know, avatar for me, maybe a cartoon, maybe a headshot. So I'll play around with that. And if I, if I get it nailed down, I'll just do a video on that. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to check out uh, Data for All and um, our AI for All podcast and YouTube videos. Those are going to be linked in the show notes below. And that's a great uh, way to get an overview of what we're doing and all of the latest and greatest. Uh, data for All does a great job at breaking data down into small digestible pieces so that everybody can understand. And so it's demystifying data. So thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.